Sri Academy. Today we are going to see about derivation of stiffness matrix for one dimensional heat element. Action element. So welcome to Jai Academy. Academy. Our aim is uh, to bridge the gap between the academic and industry. Okay. So you consider the one dimensional bar element of length L in the case the thermal conductivity of the material and the one end of the bar element is noted with node number one and the other end of the bar element is noted with node number two. <coughs> so when you are taking the temperature at uh, node number one is mentioned as T1 and temp uh, uh, node number two is T2. Since it's a grid conduction problem, the temperature will be involving as a major factor. So here, in generally, we can mention the stiffness matrix uh, with respect to the <coughs> strain displacement matrix transpose and material matrix and uh, strain displacement matrix and volumetric integral over the domain. So the first equation, the stiffness matrix. The temperature <coughs> function, you have seen the equation one in the last class. Uh, the temperature function can be written with respect to the C function, L minus X by L and X by L, which is nothing but relating the local variable to the global variable, called as a temperature function here, that is mentioned as N1, T1. So the temperature function can be equated with respect to the equation N1 T1 plus N2 T2 is equal to T. The temperature is equal to shape function and temperature at node number 1 with the addition of node number 2 and temperature. The shape function 1 is called L minus X by L and N2 is shape function at node number 2 is X by L. So the strain displacement matrix which we have seen already but anyway I will explain to you again. <coughs> Strain displacement relation can be written with respect to the strain uh, du by dx. Uh, strain will be mentioned as uh, epsilon. There is change in displacement to the displacement with respect to the original length that is taken as a small part. That is mentioned as a dx here. Dx here. So when you take u relation the shape function respect to the shape function, the displacement relation or term written with relation can be written with respect to the u. Yeah, N1, N2, and T1, T2. So when you take D, T1, and B, Dx, and when you get into the outside parameter with respect to the safe function, you get this equation like this. The D1 by Dx, Dn2 by Dx, T1, T2. So this T1 is differentiation of a safe function. Safe function is 1 minus, 2 minus x by L. So when you derive with respect to <coughs> differentiation with respect to the dx, you will get the term 1 by L minus 1, 1, T1 by T2. So dn2 by D2 is uh, d of uh, x by L by dx. So x is equal to when you take d by dx of x equal to 1, 1 by L. So you take outside 1 by L, so you get this term. So which is mentioned that B matrix with respect to T1, T2 B matrix, 1 by L minus 1 by L, minus 1 by 1. B transpose, take the brand B transpose because it's required for the derivation of stiffness matrix function. So minus 1 by L and 1 by L, that we consider as a equation 6. Okay. So in one dimensional heat equation, <coughs> Thermal conductivity, the K, K, we can write it as a KC or D matrix call. So the KC is returned with respect to the, the bar is varying from 0 to L. So you have to integrate with respect to 0 to L and substitute the B transpose matrix here and D matrix as a K and B matrix you substitute here and with respect to DB you integrate with respect to over the length. 
So when you shorten this term, you will get this term 1 by L square minus 1 by L square minus 1 by L square 1 by L square and K you take outside and DV outside. So now the equation you, you divide this uh, derivation dv that is volume into area into the area area into the thickness this area into area into a dx okay. so you take uh, outside this k a area and uh, thermoconductivity k outside and you integrate with respect to dx that is zero to l and now you get the term with the, you integrate dx so you will get dx and the limits are l length and 0 so when you substitute the l relations here you will get l minus 0 that has been written here so other terms will not be get affected so only you get l and 0 don't have any value so you get the equation like a k by l and you take l square and substitute l and you will get a L cancel so you get the term a k by l 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 1 so that's a uh, equation for stiffness matrix for one dimensional heat conduction for elements and here represent the area of the element and here represent the thermal conductivity l by l is the length of the element so you sometimes the people may ask about only the write about the stiffness matrix for one dimensional heat conduction element so write this equation, write the explanation, you will get it. Okay guys, so thank you, thanks for your support and you please subscribe our channel for getting more videos from our side. Thank you.